shut the door so we can. <laughs> Why am I not getting plant fibers? Me neither. I was having the same issue. Yeah, hey, what the hell was up with that? All right, I'm gonna open it and then close it real quick. So I'll so have the nerd. Okay. <laughs> you hit him from behind. Now, if they turn around on you, back away and I'll hit them. Oh, they're gonna be having you one hit until they kill me. What the hell? Neither of them made it. In. Well, we got two. Let's kill the girl first. Oh yeah, this looks to be a pretty decent sized city. Oh I'm, damn it, Andy. I'm still a little over 1k away from you, Andrew, and looks like I'm getting into a big city here. You should probably you should probably hang spend the night there. Uh, had an option to spawn in my back top backpack, but it didn't. <laughs> um, what's the good to take? Pummel peat? Is that what you use in like with clubs and such? That's a good one to start off with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, you can't collect grass with a club. <laughs> I just use like an open slot and punch it with your fists. Oh, wait, oh no. We, we, that's why we weren't getting up grass because you're both using clubs accidentally. <laughs> but it won't it, it won't actually click grass with clubs. That's funny. Oh, that's new. What's the sexual Tyrannosaurus one under again? That one's gone. Oh jeez. What the hell should I spend my last two points on? I got one point in Pummel Pete and the other one in Healing Factor. What do you recommend, Grok? You're the one that always min maxes this stuff. Um, well, since they remove skills, uh, schematics from skills, uh, just whatever you, what kind of weapons do you want to use? And pistols. And it sounds like they improve spears a good bit too in terms of melee, so. Got some options. What do you think? Definitely go in healing factor for one point. Probably go pain tolerance for another. Rule one cardio. It's always a good one. What's the other one? Rule one cardio. Really? Yeah, I mean, especially at the beginning when we're doing almost nothing but running around. I'm not getting any honey from stumps. Yeah, I haven't gotten any either. I know that you still do get honey from it, though. I think you need a, a book for that or something like that. So this is, I mean, it's a decent sized city, but there's no skyscrapers here. So it's definitely not a, like a tier how five you, city. How do you check your water and food level again? 
Underneath your bar in the middle of the screen. Oh, that's right. Damn, jeez. Thanks. Oh, Wrong. Yeah. What happened? Dog. Oh. And it's fucking six o'clock. You almost yeah. back here, Andy? Trying to get there. Cause, okay. You gotta find somewhere to hunker down. Yep, I'm running into the same issue here. As soon as you get back here, Andy, we're gonna have to run and find somewhere. Oh shit. I thought all those zombies were dead and I started trying to loot something on a trailer and they all came alive. Well, at least I'm not infected anymore. Positive. Yeah, because I died. Shoot the woman. She's got to be almost dead. Alright, you want to double team this crackhead? Oh, he's a fast one. Never mind. Nope, no, he's not quite dead, Andy. We're gonna give him some arrows here. There we go. <laughs> Any place better in here? <laughs> well, you want to go right next door to the trader? Sure. I mean, I mean it, it might we be able to get one on that roof. Yep. We build some. Uh... Oh shit! I just killed this chicken. Oh yeah. cooking pot to be able to boil water. Damn it. Let's get on the roof. Oh damn, never mind. Andy built a freaking ladder. Wanna try to kill this build building as much as possible real quick? Uh, I don't think I have anything to heal up with. I haven't put my points yet. Uh, yeah, dude, you need to take healing back. Yeah. Yeah. What time does... Dark, dark starts at what, 8? 8, 8 p.m.? 21 or 22. Uh, I think it's 22. Let's clear this roof, Andy. Don't get too brave.
these suckers die so slow right now, it's not even funny. Yeah. down here and know we're up here maybe we should crouch please make a bed roll real quick I got up in a, a brick building. One of them managed to get up on the, my roof somehow. Yeah, you're right. That's not good. Holy crap. I have no more stones to make arrows. Hide out up here. There is a metric ton. They're tearing this house, this place down. hitting some sort of uh, vending machine. chest.
we should use where Andy and I are as our first uh, operational base. Since it's right next to the trader. What do you guys think? I'd like to see the area that Andrew's in first. Okay. Well, I've got the uh, those forge books waiting for you in the storage chest that I made up here on this roof. So, one thing that's contrary to you guys is that you guys are actually further away from the center of the map. Really? Yeah, the center of the map is actually south, southwest of me. Andrew is kind of due north of me, and then you guys are northwest. If you scrap paper, do you, you don't get cloth, right? I don't know. Scrap one paper and see what happens. I've never tried to scrap it before. Oh, I don't think you can, actually. That's yeah, I, that might be like the, the core material. Yeah. Yeah, it was literally pointless for me to make a cooking fire without a pot. You don't have any meat? I do have meat. You can make charred meat. That's the only thing we can make without a cooking pot. And even if you had a cooking pot, your options are either boiled egg or charred meat, and that's it. How do you zoom out the map? scroll wheel how come I can't scroll out that far then you can't scroll all the way out so you see the whole thing I don't know where the hell you guys are I guess I can you can move it around with the mouse where but I don't see you guys what I do is just Position yourself so you're looking at one of us on the compass and then go to your map and then the direction that you're facing just scroll along the map in that direction. Nope, I cannot see you. So get like point. get out inside of get out of the map and then on the compass you look for like an arrow. So you can like look for Yeah. So you see like uh I don't know what color I am, yellow. Yep, so once right you in. line that up. Yeah. <clears throat> it's right in the middle of the compass. So then I look at the map and just move it up, right? And then you look at yourself and see where which which direction is your arrow pointing. And then scroll away from that. So I'm to the right of you. Like kind of southeast-ish. More east. Really? Oh, there you guys are finally. 
So we should go towards Grok? That's where I'm heading. I mean, this city that I'm in is a decent size, but I mean, it's also not skyscraper. I mean, there's not going to be any big tier five missions here. At least not that I've seen. I haven't explored this city yet. I mean, it could be a small town. Do you, should I explore mine a little bit more? I mean, it looks like it's pretty big and it's obviously closest to the center. Yeah, might as well. I can do that. destroying the inside of this building. I'm gonna give me a drink real quick. Yeah, for skill points, I would say you probably pick like two trees and kind of go alternate between them. So I just put in a private channel what I think the map should look like. I created this map oh. based on random gen just doing the different settings so I believe I know there's not coordinates or anything on there but I believe in the forest I'm in that city that's the furthest to this closest to the center so you can see that it looks like to the west of me, or to the east of me, would be kind of a larger city. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably in a smaller city. Yeah. It looks like Andy and I are in the southern city that's just to the south and a little west of you, right? That's a looks like a, a bigger city too, right? No, it looks like you're in the... It's about the same size as um, the city that I'm in. So probably just head towards you. Yeah, I think so. Being at the center. And then I'll see if there's... There's got to be a, a traitor in this city. Or if not, definitely to the, to the west. Oh, one thing I noticed they made a change for is uh, uh, quests or trader missions. Uh, we don't have to share them anymore. It's as long as we're grouped together, they're automatically shared with everybody. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's why I have the quest for Andy and Neil, <laughs> even this far away. Are we gonna f should Andy and I do this quest before we leave? That's up to you. Clear mission, Andy, so. At least the one I took. Well, I made a, a temporary base. Like, it's not really much of anything, but it's like something temporary. If, if you want to do your mission, finish it, and then I can share the waypoint of where I'm at. So, I don't know if you could make it all the way from where you guys are to where Steve is at in time. But if it seems like it's closer to come to my temporary shelter, if you don't think you're going to make it in time, at least get you closer. 
I just set up in a like a gas station right next to the trader. Yeah, I did two about two and a half clicks in a day. Yeah, but they're gonna also do like a trader mission also. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if we did the. Yeah. I don't know. Otherwise, you guys are just gonna have to, like, as soon as 4 a.m. starts, just take off and start heading towards Steve. It'll be interesting to see what's left of this building that I'm in. I'm back. healing factor before it was like you gain one hit point if you did level one you get one health health every 140 seconds now it's one health every 35 seconds so you should get your health back a lot faster oh another benefit to putting skills into like weapon skills, other than the fact that you do more damage, it also increases the amount of chances that you get the book related to that weapon. Starving Andy? Yeah, I'm getting closer. Yep. <laughs> you don't have any food on you? I wonder if more than one of us should go into like Master Chef. 
all it does is just reduces the amount of ingredients used and it speeds up the cooking time. But it also also increases the, the, the chance of getting home cooking weekly. Yeah. But I'm going perception and fortitude for now. I mean, we can still make we, as long as we have home cooking weekly as one person as one person's reading that book, then we can still make the food that we need. Uh, another book that probably I'll hold on to and just not read it is Vehicle Adventure. Uh, one person needs to read at least 20 of them just to make mini bikes. I mean, we can all read the, all the books as we find them. Eventually, we'll, we'll be, one of us will be able to read it. Or we can just kind of funnel them into one person and then get it faster. I may have read one of those books already. What's it called? Uh, vehicle Adventure. That's for making vehicles. Oh, I read one too because I I have two points of one hundred. Yeah, I've actually, I guess I've already read three. <laughs> oh, you already read three? Yeah. I have one that I've not read yet. Is anyone going in the strength? I was going down intelligence, intelligence so far. I mean, I put a point in Pummel P just because clubs are so good, especially in the early game. So far, I've done fortitude and agility. I did put a point into archery just because I've been, since arrows are a lot easier to create right now, I've been using that a lot. Yeah, especially once we get. We'll be using bows for a while, and then yeah. when we get crossbows, they still benefit. Yeah. Alright, um, what should I try to carry here, because I'm already encumbered. I would sell as much as you can at your trader. I mean, we don't need anything like lead right now. Probably don't need any coal or. What about seeds? Seeds I would keep, absolutely. All right, well I'm gonna. Are you are you encumbered, Andy? Not yet. All right. Um, 